There you All go. Right. Hello, everybody. It's Spider here, the Five Car Podcast, coming to you from San Antonio, Texas. Uh, my guest, not so much, man. You're in Laredo, Texas, right now, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm out here in Laredo, man. Uh, you are Charles Jones. Um, I, I was going to ask you, Rocco, is that your middle name or is that your nickname? <laughs> no, nah, it was uh, it was a nickname given. Nickname given, man. Nickname given by family members when I was a young buck coming up back home. Well, I'm originally from Chi Town, you know. Uh, but yeah, man, it's just nickname. And um, it just stick with me when I got here, honestly. It's just this is what it is, man. Just round with it, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Originally from Laredo, man. Where are you from? Originally from? Yeah, originally from um, you know, Chi Town, Chicago. Uh, grew up there for a little bit, moved around a lot, but that's primarily where I was born and raised. And then uh, moved out here some odd years later, and boom, baby. <laughs> and now, uh, and now I asked this without the respect, but why Laredo, man? What's going on over there? Well, Laredo at all places. Yeah, man, be honest with you, 100, you know, I came here when I was a young buck, man, when I was real young, man, I wasn't really expecting much. One day, you know, I was still in school, and I was like, man, I'm going to try for my dream, and then one day I said, I'm going to MMA, bro, and it started off just like that, because, like, you know, I, like I said, I was young, I came here, and I was like, no, so I want to get away from, you know, you know, home, because, like, it was just too many, like, just too many distractions in the way, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't like always think clearly, I always had to, you know, be looking over doing stuff. But like, I said, let, let me go school a little bit. Now, I mean, as far as uh, how long have you been training in uh, mixed martial arts? For mixed martial arts, uh, since I've been with Sonny, I've been with him about for about over four years. So I've been training about for over four years, stay about five years. About okay. Five, yeah. I know Sony from years back. You know, he actually made his uh, his amateur uh, debut in San Antonio, man, years ago. So, uh, I mean, the guy's definitely made it himself. He's got a good gym with you guys on there. Um, you have competed four times as, as an amateur. Yeah. Yeah, I have. Now, when uh, uh, was that experience, I mean, was it you and your coach that kind of sat down and said, hey, you know what, let's, let's go ahead and hit the pro circuit? Yeah, man, we had sat down. And we said, all right, I, after all these matches, you know, me getting in there, you know, learning the ropes, because it's a fight game, man. A lot of anything can happen. A lot of things can happen. And one day he said, hey, Rocco, you think you, you want to go pro? And I told him, man, that's the dream, man. <laughs> just like that. I said, let's go, man. I just like, go. Just let's do it. it. <laughs> now, and, and I'm going to ask you, because um, as far as Laredo, I've been there twice. And uh, the one, one time I actually went and hung out with uh, Sony. Uh, he had Leonard Garcia there, man. And uh, it was his whole old place. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you were training there, but he had the cage outside his house. It was like a like a home. <laughs> no, man, I heard about that a lot. I wasn't. I wish I was there, but I wasn't there for the experience. It'd probably be super awesome, but <laughs> but nah, man, I wasn't there. I wish I was, but I wasn't. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, I can't. I'm like I said. Following the directions, I'm, I'm pulling up to a house and I see this cage in the backyard and I'm like, man, what this guy got going on in here, man? Like, I mean, underground, you know, fighting for it. But, uh, but I mean, obviously, man, I mean, we're from where he started, of course, now he's got this going on and um, I mean, he's doing a beautiful thing, man. I, mean, I got a lot of respect for for Sony, man, definitely. For real, man, for real. The guy, the guy puts on for himself, puts on for his people, puts on for his town. The man represents. He's a good guy, all around good guy, man. It really is. And let, let me ask you, you have been in Laredo so many years. Uh, do you speak Spanish? Do I speak Spanish? Just very poquito, man. Very, <laughs> very, very poquito. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Nah, just enough to get me by, but if you know, if you learn this, the language and you don't use it, you abuse it, you'll lose it. It's real. <laughs> but, I mean, it's a good thing you have your coach with you going to, uh, to this fight, you know, because he'll be able to translate for you, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a good thing too. <laughs> now I gotta ask you. Um, okay. It's not the first time you actually made your pro debut for Nacional's MMA. Uh, how was it in the first uh, the first time you went out there? Were you nervous? Were you anxious? Now I'm be honest with you. Every, every a lot of people like to put up a show. I'm be honest. I was nervous, man. I was completely nervous because um, you know it's um, it's, it's your first go. It's not about it being perfect or trying to be, oh, no, this and that, or trying to be that guy. It's just you, you got to go out there 
And I had a lot of pressure on from, you know, back home, people with this and that. And I know when I hit that area, I was like, I, I got to do me. When I hit that cage, I'm like, it don't matter, man, because at the end of the day, it's me putting in that work. So, real. <laughs> and I, mean, I was feeling I had him. How happy were you with that victory, man? You got to win on, on your pro debut, so you are undefeated right now. Yeah, man, it's, it's great. Undefeated streak, number one. <laughs> it, 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 it. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's what's up, bro. It, it, yes. is, fight week. it is fight week, and um, uh, what weight class is, is this going to be at? Weight class? Oh, man, it's not the, uh, the, the light uh, lightweights. Lightweight, lightweight hit club, weight class. So it's 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 a uh, weight class crazy man. It's a lot of guys, a lot of fish in that tank. So it's a it's a it's a lot going on. Well, not fish, but they sharks. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a lot of sharks up in there, man, and just trying to get what they can. But yeah, I'm in the right way for 155. It's crazy up there. When it comes to the weight cut, did you already start cutting? Honestly, um, yeah, yeah. I I I do my weight cuts. In between my uh, my camps because you know it's it's a lot of hell in that ring. I mean in the cage yourself because like you're in there you're locked away and you don't get out until you finish or the timer runs out or you finish the guy basically. And you know through my through my um, you know the camp I had I was going through a lot especially with the weight cut because it would drain me through uh, me trying to you know be able to accomplish the drills to accomplish uh, whatever you know. My coach had put me through with the camp, you know, for anything, the exercises, um, you know, bag hitting, anything. It was it was a different drain um, set for me, man. So it was it was um, honestly one of the one of the hardest I've been in for a long time. And I mean, because of that, now, like you say, you're you're doing your weight cuts a little bit early or in between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, how yeah. many pounds do you have to go? How many more pounds, bro? Yeah, it's hard to say. I should honestly, I should check that scale. But the last time I checked, <laughs> the last time I checked, cause I gave up the fast food and everything else. Nah, I, I eat healthy. Nah, I, um, I'm brown by I think about a good eight pounds, maybe eight eight pounds for sure. Now, um, like, I mean, I've from here to Laredo, I've I've driven out there, and it took me about three and a half hours, four hours. I drive slow. Um, how how far is the distance from from where you guys at to uh, Monterrey, Nuevo León, man? Dude, man, now that right there to travel, it's 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 a killer. It takes a while. I think the last time we were on there, maybe like I think I think about six hours. It's Ooh. it's a long drive. You gotta be patient, but it's worth the sightseeing. <laughs> no, I mean, coach, out there, though, right? Say it one more time, brother. A uh, coach? He's the one that's driving out there, Sony. Coach, man, honestly, I don't even know. Probably so, if anything. I just, yeah, I think he, I think he is. He is now, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's a long drive, bro. It's, it's, it's a long drive, man. It's, it's, now, it's I, mean, I, mean, you drive, I mean, are you doing your weight cut while you're out there? Do you put on, put on a sauna suit and just sweat, keep sweating it, or...? No oh, man, I got a suit up in here. I, I got a sweatsuit. I put on. I jog with. I did. Um, what was it like? Uh, what was it? yeah, seven. I did seven miles this morning before I went out to work. I had a sweatsuit through the washing dryer. It's done now. I use it a lot now more than ever because it helps with the um the cutting of the weight. It keeps me where I need to be. And honestly, damn thing keeps me motivated because like when I'm in there, it feels like I got this pressure on me and I gotta get it off. <laughs> so I keep with me, man. I can offer. I keep with me, man. <laughs> oh, I mean, for sure. You mentioned. I mean, you are um, a student of uh, Sonia Luque. I mean, uh, you're going to be representing yeah. Laredo Kickboxing Academy, of course. Uh, being that it's Mexico, man. I mean, uh, I know Sonia's got a relation with Nacional MMA. Uh, he does the commentary, man. So how does that work when it comes to you fighting? I mean, does he like step away from that and coach you on the on your fight? Nah, man. You know, we're, we're all men. Everyone has their business. They got things to do. You understand that you can wear one pair of shoes and another later. Uh, for the last one that we was in there, he, he did commentary. And, you know, I'm not going to stunt. A lot of people know this is real. You know, as fighters, like, you feel some type of way when your coach ain't there, you know. And then, and then um, you know, it takes away a little bit, but that's why you're out there to fight because, you know, pressure is going to be there. So when he's doing his thing, 
I'm happy for him because you know, you know, he got me, he got me so far because you know his help, his teaching, his showing, and, and I'm out there on the platform doing this. So I'm like, all right, you know, he just, he just to me, it's like he's in another chair. Up <laughs> <laughs> with the mic yelling at you, man. Hey, go for the leg. Nothing no, no, like. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, the fact that he's actually still involved with the sport because um, from the last time I talked to him, he didn't really, he didn't say he was retired. I know he he left the uh, the last fight he had. You know, I mean, he's had some some uh, some tough losses, but he's got he's had some great wins, man. Um, he's accomplished. I mean, he's fought for for uh, Combate, you know, uh, America when it was Combate America uh, for Legacy. You know, the guys fought for some good promotions. Um, after this fight, are, are you looking to fight here in the U.S.? Here fighting the U.S.? Yeah, most definitely. I am because um, you know it's it's a journey for me, honestly. For the MMA career, mind the fight game, it's a journey. That's what, what has always been ever since I started. So I'm looking to branch out and have more fights in America. Also, still want to have fights overseas, but yeah, I am looking primarily in a way for more uh, traditional American more fights. You know? No, no, definitely, man. Because I mean, I'll, I'll say this: six hours going into another country, but if it's six hours here, you feel a lot safer, right? <laughs> <laughs> safe is safe. Free is free, baby. We all got to get where we live, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, and I mean, of course, uh, you work full time. So your training, where, when does it start? I mean, like uh, at the end of the day, work day? No, nah, man, honestly, um, my training really doesn't stop even at work. Like, this is the time my boss even caught me jabbing at bags. <laughs> even couldn't wait up doing footworks. No, nah, man, because, like, I, it's, it's like I said, it's the journey, bro. I love it because you have to really be, like, willing to put yourself in some predicaments in place. You got – the sport is very uncomfortable. It's not about being comfortable. And I like that uncomfortableness with it. And when, I, when I'm at work, I get stares, but I tell, I tell them, like, hey – it's what I do. Right? It's who I am. Like I'm not gonna change that for you, nobody else. But you know, I get up in the morning. Sometimes five, I go jog. I'm not gonna say that much, but I, I go jog about for thirty minutes a day to an hour. Who knows? I don't. I don't even count me miles a foot. I just do it because I know it's gonna benefit me. When I go to work, I do my thing. Work from the nine to five. I may do a little bit of switching here and there, some jabs on some stuff. You know, that's that's, that's what I do. Work. It don't matter. They don't know. Don't care. That's just me. When I get off. It's back to the hustle, it's back to the grind, it's back to the journey itself because that's what I love, man. So like as soon as I get off, I come home. I don't even address yet, bro. I I I would literally bust squats outside, push-ups, a little bit of ab work, come inside and like you know, prepare my day and train a little bit even in the house so I can go out. That's me. Definitely, man. And I mean, um, what kind of work do you do that you get to do this, man? I mean, are you like Work honestly, man. Uh, when I worked in the office area some some odd years ago, it, it became strenuous for me to do any of that because everything is so time demanding, and miniature um, outputs. But uh, you know that was a great endeavor at that time. But now I've been uh, with this place. They took me back. Uh, it was a labor company, and you know I just do small things there. I repair trucks and trailers and forklifts and stuff like that. And and be and with that job description of that, I. I don't have a whole lot of time, but I have a, a nice suitable amount of time where I can, like, you know, I can, you know, I can, I can flow, you know? Yeah. I can flow, okay. I can grab, I can move, you know, I can bomb and weave while I'm there, throw some kicks, you know, because I'm in a big operation area at times, you know, plus it's outside, you know, I got a van or I got a facility, you know, I use the area. Right, I do my right. thing there. Yeah. No, no, for sure, man. Now, uh, this fight coming up, man, who's helping you as far as sponsors uh, going into this bout? Uh, the family got me some sponsors. Honestly, man, only per, uh, a few people's helped me, but the person helping me the most out of anyone is my coach, yours truly, son Luke. He's been pitting on for your guy for, for a while. He's been helping with those sponsors. It's um, it's a, that right there, the journey itself. I, I I tried my hand in it, got me a few um, you know, a few stars out that. I thought, I thought I'd buck it with it, but nah, and everyone fell through, and never went through with um the next step with it, you know. But uh, thanks to Sonny, because Sonny, you know, I was able to get some sponsors. So, you know, big props to him and all that. That's, that's what's up. So, no, no, for sure. And, I mean, the, the fact that your coach is actually helping you, I mean, he'll be there with you uh, on fight night. You know, um, he'll be he'll be doing the commentary, but he'll be there inside the stadium. Um, do you know where yeah. this fight is? Is it the same location as last time? 
Um, honestly, that information is not um, closed to me or told to me whatsoever. So I can't really say that'd be false information about what I told you. But um, the best thing to do is the uh, check the page for Nacionis. I don't even know. I really don't. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, <laughs> like when I wait, man, probably fall. I know next, you know, I'll find out next day. Who knows? But I know for sure it's in Monterey. I honestly, let me see. Honestly, I think, yeah, it's going to probably be in the same, same arena from last time. Yeah, and I was just going to ask uh, the reason I was asking was uh, the last time you fought, I mean, was it a big arena? Was it a stadium or what was it? Honestly, man, it was it was a nice size, big arena. It was it was packed. It had a lot of people, a lot of faces. The size was huge. I, and I don't really get lost in arenas, bro, but I got lost there. So <laughs> it was a nice size to it. Are you knew you had a fight going, man. That was it. <laughs> I did look this up, and Naciones MMA, they are going to be um, airing it on their Facebook page. So for those watching, oh, of course, right. page, and they can see the fights. So that's, that's a good thing. Good. Definitely, I'll be watching that night. Uh, the last event they had, I was watching, you know, going along. So uh, looking forward to this, man. Now, um, oh. this fight week, um, how, how are you physically, mentally? I mean, is everything falling into place? Man, things are falling. No, that's what you – no, things are <laughs> falling in place. <laughs> it's just that, you know, it's the stumbling blocks here and there. But, you know, as, a, as an athlete, as a competitor, you know, I'm taking my time with that. I'm, I'm getting those stumbling blocks out the way, the obstacles. I'm uh, I'm getting through them the way I should. I'm not trying to drill through them going the right direction to deal with them. So right now things are falling in place. My mindset, I, I'm there. I'm there. I have an open mindset about it. I'm still nervous because, you know, it's, it's the fight, man. That's me. But my mind is open to the possibilities of this fight, man. It's open for however it should turn. I'm fine with that. Physically, hey, I ain't going to junk. Tell the rest of the boys out there. I'm bugging in some areas <laughs> throughout my body, but hey, a little bit of ice <laughs> in case because they're right. <laughs> um, sure, man. And I mean, of course, with experience, I mean, the more you keep fighting, you know, the more you feel comfortable and uh, I mean, keep adding tools, of course. Now, let me ask you, man, because it is fight week. I wanted to cut this short, but I, I did, I did want to get a couple of questions answered. Um, yeah, as far sure. as um, you said, uh, no sponsors yet, but I mean, if people are willing to sponsor you, of course, they can hit up your coach. They can hit you up directly. Yeah. Yeah, they can. Hit me up at uh, Charles Jones on Facebook, you know, or hit up Sonny Luke on his or Insta, however y'all want. <laughs> Got a lot of super ways to do it, but primarily Facebook. No, no, for sure, man. And uh, I want to thank you, bro. Thank you for giving me a few minutes. Uh, like I said, I wanted to do this short and sweet and uh, hopefully catch up with you once oh, yeah, Thank you. Thank you for all this love. And thanks for this, man. No, not at you, man. That's what I'm doing. I mean, I talked to your coach. He said to contact you. And, I mean, I know he'd be okay with it just because, you know, I've been doing this for uh, for over 10 years, man, just covering the sport and uh, getting you guys out there, man, for for the same reason that, you know, um, for you guys to get a voice and, and get sponsors, you know, because people, the more people see you out there, they're going to be like, man, who is this guy? So next time, you know, they'll, they'll be lining up, man. Uh, well, no, nah, man, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you for putting in that 10 years of tenure for all of us fighters. Past, present, and future. No, no, you do a great own. work, man. Thank you. No, no. Hey, best of luck come fight night, man. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna finish off, but uh, I'm gonna stay, stay on the line. <laughs> All right. Thank you, brother. I'll do my best. Yes, sir. Everybody, this is Spider, of course, Rocco from Laredo, Texas, and uh, this is Defi Car Podcast. Make sure you subscribe and follow up and get this guy some sponsors, man. Thank you, bro. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Spider. Stay up out there. Yes, sir. Yeah, brother.